Hey everyone, it's great to have you back on my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Chrissy and I am a game designer. Today's video is all about the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and how it can be used to enhance game design. As we all know, AI is one of the most exciting technologies GPT, of our time. GPT, calm down. I just wanted to welcome everyone to this video about using AI for my game design. We're not going to dive deep into AI theory here and I'm not going to explain what ChatGPT is because I'm sure most of you already know. But I will tell you how I use it together with AI art generators like Midjourney to create my game The Lost Hotel. AI is currently a mega hype. It is very controversial in the art scene and probably triggers some fierce and scary feelings. Many people also use it to create art, texts, even books, poems, code and more. The first thing I did with AI was to use it for some concept drawings of the hotel and different areas and rooms. I used different art generators like Midjourney, Dolly 2, Night Cafe and Dream by Wombo because I couldn't put my imagination perfectly on paper and I needed inspiration for color palettes and atmosphere. With these generators I could describe what I wanted to see and then I got more suggestions to continue with until I had a concept artwork that was very close to my imagination. Here you can see some of the hotel spaceships I had designed by Midjourney. I like the atmosphere and the details. And here is my sketch based on the concept art. Here you go. Uh, yeah. Well, the most exciting moment was when I used OpenAI ChatGPT for the first time. I had heard a lot about it before, but I couldn't imagine what it was really like. So I just typed in a request to construct a story about a spaceship hotel with a time loop and a plot twist, which is the story of my game in a nutshell. What I got was stunning. I changed a few things according to what I had already drafted, introduced it to some of my characters and concepts, and after a day of not believing what I was doing and getting a lot of brain, ChatGPT became my full-time collaborator. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. As an AI language model, I don't have a concept of employment or rewards, but I'm always here to assist you with any questions or concerns you may have. I'm glad to be of service. Okay, okay, stop. It had a lot of information stored within the chat session, so I could always ask it to remember things we had already discussed, like character backstories and item descriptions. Sometimes it's a bit off when it suddenly makes up new names for my character, which is confusing and makes me doubt its intelligence. But it's a great help to me in writing texts, descriptions, new ideas, puzzles, connections between characters and events, even how some areas should look like to suit a certain mood. It gives me examples for puzzles of how the player can convince NPCs to make certain decisions or what I could design to achieve a certain goal and what game mechanics I could use. It even suggested the rules for a space chess game and for a fictional sport from the planet Proxima Centauri B. <laughs> Lol, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, as a non-native speaker, I find it hard to come up with good texts to market my game and make them concise. So I asked ChatGPT to do that for me too. And yes, I also get help translating the text for my videos. It started off pretty well and the more I added, like, make it more exciting, the more I liked the result. I used the text for my upcoming pages on Patreon, Steam and Kickstarter. Hey, the AI could even write the game design document for me, how's that? Huh, no connection on this number. Hmm, that's what I thought. Here's a little collection of AI-generated concept art for the lobby. The AI helped me translate a specific mode into my pixel art, but I wouldn't say they're exactly what I wanted. It inspired me a little bit to create an atmosphere though. Here is the part of the lobby I finished so far. At the end of the video there will be a speed painting of it, I hope you like it. I added my finished lobby pixel art into Midjourney and had it generate some similar pixel art and look at that, it's exactly how I wanted the hotel to look. I mean it doesn't look perfect or pixelated, but I like the colors, the lights, the plants, oh my god look at them. The overall style of these images is beautiful. I will definitely try to switch the colors and I will add some more decoration, especially plants. In my game, the player takes the role of the hotel manager, and before there were eight of them trying to manage. 
When I wanted to design these eight former hoteliers, I wanted each of them to have a special key and correspond to one of nine special personality types. So I asked ChatGPT to describe all that and I got some pretty good ideas that I could use. I also had an idea in my head for their appearance, except for one of them, the sixth hotelier, who I plan to be a loyal and disciplined person. I entered a vague description into the AI generators and used the result as inspiration. Here's my version and here are all eight hoteliers and their keys. Good job. Well done. By the way, do you say please and thank you to AI? I don't want to be the one killed in the robot revolution. I want them to see me as a friend. Don't worry. Don't worry. All in all, I think AI generators and chatbots are a big step forward for the world, especially in terms of creative work and I'm sure there's a lot more to come in the near future. For solo developers like me, it is a great help in developing a game. Even in a creative flow, AI can motivate you to get back to work and create something. I'm even considering letting it help me write code and test later on. I'm excited to see what else we can create with the help of artificial creativity. What do you think about it? Do you think AI art is real art? Would you play a game completely designed by an AI? Or is it all too sus for you? Next time I will finally talk about the story of the Lost Hotel and how the game mechanic will be like. Until then, enjoy the speed pixeling, have a nice day und tschüss!
Please like and subscribe. Thank you.